So let's recap where we got to yesterday. And right before the stream ended, we finally worked out how to get both the cubes down to here. And we can actually access and manipulate both of these cubes now. And we did actually work out a way also to get across to here. What's going on, Team Spend? So, sorry, I've been a bit rude. I haven't said hello to everybody. Let's go on, Team Spend. Mika, Crazy, Brits, Determinated. I know you've. Uh, oh, Determinated. Uh, sorry, Doctorus. I know you've gone. But, uh, and anybody else that I have missed, welcome everybody. Hope you are all well and enjoying your day. So, yeah, last off yesterday, we did work out how to do this section here, didn't we? I think, if I remember rightly, we did something like this, where we put the cube here. Then we reversed the funnel. Then we jumped in here before it respawns. It respawns. We then press the button there. The button there. Which will then give us access to jump back into the funnel at this point. Uh, this is Hive from Leo Crazy. So thank you very much for the host. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. So we did this, and then I kind of got to this point, and I was like, "Ooh, I'm really like, I'm really scared. I'm really like scared of my progress. I don't want to kind of like. I feel like it was progress and good progress, but I didn't want to sort of damage anything that I had previously done. Now, what this does for us now, though, is we can actually afford to get rid of the can afford to get rid of the funnel portal because we can actually reset that by doing this coming across to here and then we can shoot that up there which kind of resets that whole thing right there and what that will allow us to do will allow us to take the cube and and then bring it into this area over here. Whilst maintaining all our portals and everything else. Like so. We can bring this over here. And we can open up this area now. Which again, we can then use our orange portal here. Go back through to this side. And we can put our portal back to here. Drop back down and re pick up the funnel. Like this. But then, what is our move from here? That's the next um, thing. Yeah. Now, I see the point of like this panel here. Using this panel here will help us to get the. That will help us to get the other cube out, which is currently sat on the bottom, which opens up that fizzler up the top there. And then once we've done that, what we're going to do is... going to do is what? Well, it's a very good question. Now, I'm just trying to think, do we need to drag the cube across? But there would be no point in having 
that panel and that gap in there if we weren't meant to be pulling the cube through, right? Not really sure though where I think this is progress, but I I don't want to jump too hastily. But I think I will create the safe spot here. Because we can easily recreate this situation from here, can't we? So what is our game plan from here? The only way to the only way to pull that cube out of this area is going to be to respawn the purple cube. And the reason I say that is because is because we could pull it up. But we have no way of setting that up. To reverse that, we'd have to move the cube, which means we can't get back over to here to shoot the portal onto that panel there, by which time, also, we've moved the cube off this panel button, so we won't be able to shoot a portal on there at all. So, it's got to come from... got to come from a got to come from a cube respawn now the other The other thing we could do is, I think, I kind of feel like I tried this last off, might be wrong, definitely can't see that from over here, can I, no. So, The problem is, right, standing on this button here, I almost wonder if we need to... I've got to keep port that side, though. That's the problem. If I lose a port that side, then everything gets undone. I mean, I'm pretty sure I tried this, but... don't think there was enough time I mean I could potentially delay could potentially delay the proceedings slightly, but I don't know if that's... Uh, you haven't missed anything other than me going into a bit of a deep dive of what we may or may not need to do. <laughs> it's uh, look at Fritz, don't worry. I 
mean, sure, that gets that to there, but then I've lost my portal on that side, which kind of negates everything I was trying to do. Plus, that doesn't really sit very well with me doing that kind of like time juggling thing. I'm sure you'll all probably agree. Feel right. I respawned the cube. Can I keep a Hold on. Hold on. Um. Uh, I was just thinking, am I like massively overcomplicating this by just, I could just go through there and press the button, but I can't do that because I would lose the... Yeah, no. I was thinking, could I just not like walk through there, press the button and come back across here, but... There's no portal for me to walk in and I wouldn't have the funnel. So, yeah, no, it's definitely not as simple as that. And I'm just going to do this quickly just to... generous with the time in there so like rush too much now the other potential here be can I get into the The other potential is, can I get in the funnel? What's going on, New Keaton? Welcome on, buddy. Well, can I get into the funnel and will that do anything for me? The only reason that would be beneficial would be if I could reverse um, if I could then from within the funnel push the cube along which I could do but pushing the cube would mean I lose oh no so that wouldn't help that would not help just like this does not help doing this right here unless I've got a solid plan
I mean... It could work like that. Alright, so maybe what I'm going to do actually instead is I will lose my... Alright, so I want to shoot my orange portal instead. Okay. Get rid of the orange portal. Oh, I need to step off the button. Idiot. Button. Step off the button because I'm the one that's controlling that. I'm thinking like by getting rid of the um, portal. Foolishly, I'm thinking that would solve my issues, but it doesn't. Also, I can shoot over to there instead. So let's send this. So, you know the part where I said I need to stand off the button. I need to stand off the button. Okay, we're off the button. So, from here. know how this helps me. This doesn't help me. Unless I want to put the cube in, the, in there. But effectively, the reason it doesn't help me is because I have no way of getting the key funnel back from here. So I'm not sure I'm 
not sure that I want to move this button away from the button that controls the orange fizzler. Unless... Unless here I am swapping cubes. Does swapping cubes do anything? This is something. See, if I had to hazard a guess, this cube would want to sit over here. This cube would want to go onto here. Because in the grand scheme of things, if we had this set up, with this, yeah, so if we had this set up, that would give me that panel until we got to there, which would be enough time for me to, or do we even need that anymore? Quite looking at like where this lines up with this doesn't line up with anything I mean maybe I'm overthinking the fact that I still need that maybe I don't need that anymore at all I only thought that panel was just to get both of the cubes. Pause there. Not good to see you, mate. All right, I do need. Okay, sorry. I'm. I'm just like. This is just like deep thaw right now. 
I do need that panel, potentially. So, I'm going to undo what I did. There's two ways it could work. I could either drop out that square panel with... I drop out the square panel, panel I'm not going to have access to the door. So, no, I don't need the square panel. Once I've got that cube, I don't think I need square panel anymore. Um... Question is... How do we get round? Do we just use a combination? Or do we want the other cube? I'm always thinking. Mm. One button on the square. One button on the funnel. Then with the reverse funnel I can get... Yeah, I can get up to this point here. Ah, why would I need to do that, though? Getting the cube means I then can't get the funnel. Right, so what if I did this instead? That moves the ball on that side, so. Um, I have, yes, multiple times. Yeah, this wasn't the um, the introduction room. They removed the intro room. This was the main puzzle. What Leo found was that um, people were getting deterred because they couldn't work out the intro room, so he removed that and just went into the main puzzle. I kind of... What I, I think I want to do is 
I almost feel like I need two button two the cubes on two but the two buttons here. Alright, so let me think about this. Uh, no, because if I take that off there. See, this is why I was thinking about a potential cube swap. Because that would buy me more time to get through there. It's fine, I can apologise. Um, it would buy me more time if I had that cube on this button with the reverse funnel. is because of the configuration that's very limited to what I can actually do. So, I mean, I can come across here. But obviously I can't do anything with this cube. When I was up here, let's try. I've got nothing to lose. What if we shifted that cube? all this while I was in here, right? But yeah, that's now I've done that. So maybe what we need to do is... Um, I don't know what to do, and unfortunately, neither Leo or Mike is around to offer. Potential saw to say I'm gaying or naying. I 
Oh, there's Leo. I'm I I'm genuinely in a rut, Leo. I'll be honest. Um, first and foremost, I need to know whether or not I'm. I think my only question I probably need to know at this point is, am I in a correct state here? So what I've got set up is I've got the funnel and obviously the portal's here, so I've got the funnel. I've got the blue cube on that panel, the, the button to give me that panel and to open up that fizzler. And then the other cube is on that button there. And it sort of goes back to like the, the, the end of yesterday's stream where I was scared to make progress. I don't know if I'm in the right setup. So if, I mean, if you could say yay or nay, then that would be one thing that would be helpful. Right, so this is the yay. Okay, so next question is, because we've already tried this as well. Do, is my next step to get both cubes here, where I am now. Because, yay yeah, again, all right. In that case, save, uh, reload, it'll be easier. In that case, is this move correct? Is that the correct way to get the cube? That's the correct one. Fantastic. Okay. So, we have made progress. Now, something I did wrong. That's rising because this is where I got confused before because I've done that now, but I don't have access to the funnel anymore. Two sex. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break, and then uh, I'll try and work out how we can, what we can do. I mean, I can easily maintain the funnel, but it's the portals on the other side that I'm more concerned about at the moment. So um, just bear with me two seconds, guys. I'll take a quick bathroom break, and we will be right back. Okay, so for ease of replication. That, that, that puts us back to here. So, I've been scared of losing a portal there, but we need to keep the funnel. So let's instead swap that one out. So, let's redo this.
Okay. Now we have this. Going on, Mike. If we have this, I now I have a feeling now I think what we'll do is we'll use the Use the purple cube on the reverse funnel. We'll pull ourselves across that gap. That will get fizzled and give me the normal. And why? How it? No, because then that's no different to what we had before, is it? Unless... Unless we shoot the wrong pole, because we're... Uh, the, 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 the. Can you please, like, cooperate, cubes? Thank you. Looks like these cubes have got tuning in the head. Wait, where did that... What? What? How? Why? Not a bad cube that time, it's a bad portal. Bad portal.
What? What is wrong with these cubes? Not kidding. Maybe I mistreated them. Jeez, I was so close. I was so close, but I don't know. I kind of did. I, I got both the cubes in there, and then sort of like talked myself out. And I was talking about like the ways I could do all of these other different bits and pieces. And yeah, I guess I never really thought it was just as simple as like pull myself across, stack the cubes, and hey presto. But um, no, it's not your fault, uh, Leo. It's not your fault at all. Uh, at least, like you say in the description, though, you'd um, given people enough time to sort of pull it off. It, it wasn't overly time critical, which is um, good. Anyway, um, we're on to the next one, which is a Trans Up from Robo SK. So I used to play a few of these uh, from Robo SK, and it's also looks like a collab with Mitt. And a lot of these maps, if I remember rightly, were based on sendificators and the on-off concept. Um, not hard and it's not big, but that's about all we're going to say about that one. Right, well, I don't think it is a... Um, I don't think we've got the on-off concept this time around, though, so... Out. Okay, so that's uh, an exit criteria. Whether it's for blue, purple, block me. Yes, they. Okay. So, we're going to use block me and portals. They are, I'll be honest, there does look like there is an awful lot going on in this map, so. Interesting. That we do need to do that. Opens the next area. It seems to go through there. So we're gonna want you up there, I guess. I think like a lot of the. A lot of the recent, like, development, well, not so recent, we're going back, like, the last, over the last couple of years, there's been a real push in the, the B-Mod mechanics, definitely, to kind of get more aesthetically pleasing and, and nice-looking maps. I think the B-Mod team have been doing a fantastic job with uh, some pieces, so... Yeah, definitely helps. All right, so there's the key. Uh, same as every day at this time of uh, at this time, crazy. We only stream for an hour. It's uh, it's only my lunch break, so yes, will only be for an hour today. interesting there was something up there 
That's neat. Is that like a new thing? A relatively new thing? I don't think I've ever seen that on the syndicate before. But that's pretty cool. A little, um... Orients the cube nicely. Alright, so I can actually pass through there myself. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, in the right place, it's going to go there, isn't it? Yep, so the laser collision is off. But what the. delay was there, but I'm guessing both of these need to be pressed though, which could be Oh. It's as simple as that, it seems. Right. So we'll take the save. is a permanent button. No worries, Mika. Thanks for hanging. Appreciate it. And Rector, what's going on, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Right, so now we have a panel to there, at least. And now it's just a case that we need to get the cube onto here, then, right? So, to do that, we'll just respawn the cube. Alright, Mike, no worries. Catch you later. So come by. We'll do this, and we'll have the funnel there. I mean, yeah, like I've said before, though, I know I'm not Mr. Current Affairs when it comes to Portal, but how long has that little thing been on there on the Sendificator? Or is that like a custom element? Uh, be cool, to be honest. What time is doing, though? I don't really know what that is doing. So one question remains, though. Well, I get across the, it, it, this gap. I don't know. I don't know. How do I get across this gap? Okay, that fizzler turns on to stop you from getting the portal, okay? Uh, getting the funnel. Say, I'm a little confused as to what I'm meant to do next.
I missed a cube somewhere? Oh. There is a lot of manage to be fair. Where are you? Son of cheat. Where is Moon? Moon on the Sanctificator? Well, no, because that leads up. Where is Moon? What is Moon? What is Moon? anyone and again he's cheating again that's this guy's problem another room through the door Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I get it now. Use the sanctificator. I shouldn't have used the sanctificator. I should have used the. All right, I'm done. Okay. So I want moon and slash. Gives me a permanent panel there. So now, could I not just do I 
I need both the cubes. Well, what can I see from up here? Um, what else activates this? Dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot and wavy line. It's how we go through... Oh, no, it's, it's, I'm, again, overcomplicating this and overthinking this. What I actually need to do is take this one and replace this one with this. Just like that. Then I think I need to set this up again. Go through there. Centificate that into there. Then I'm going to. Have I done this right? Go. Yeah, no, that was right. When I go upstairs. Shoot onto there. Go back downstairs. Walk through, respawn. Job done, right? Alright, well. Uh, yeah, the, on the face of it, the puzzle's very, really, really simple. I just feel like the signage potentially like was uh, commented um, by Leo uh, is a little bit confusing and there's a lot of it to try and get your head around so um, but yeah it wasn't as bad as my first thought my um, but yeah that is gonna be us for today guys we are out of time so We'll be back tomorrow with some more community chambers in the lunchtime stream, and we will be starting something new. So we'll see what's next in the queue, but uh, nice little surprise for tomorrow. I'm going to throw a raid over to Death Unitas, who is playing some Advanced Wars Dual Strikes, going for world record attempts. So, uh, yeah, until tomorrow, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I've been Nock, you've been awesome. Take care, enjoy your day, and gaming.